Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty simple subject, and that's the two cages that are available for the Sony a7 IV. The full cage from small rig and the half cage from small rig. Let's take a look at a direct comparison of both. Let's start by taking a look at these two cages. The top one is the full cage and the bottom one is the half cage and obviously we're looking at the bottom of both. Now the biggest difference that you see here is the absence of the section that goes around the battery compartment and that goes on the left hand side of your camera. It's completely missing on the half cage and you'll see even more of that detail when I flip these two things over. The other differences that you'll see are there are more connection points on the bottom on the full cage and they both come with a little screwdriver tool on the right hand side. Now the full cage also has a tiny little Allen key that you can use to secure the cage a little tighter to your strap connection. This isn't something that I ever do, so um, that may or may not be important to you. Now let's flip this thing over. Now the top of both of these, and I apologize for the amount of dust and scratches on these, I've been using them a fair bit. Now you'll see that now it, it's really quite a big difference in the size of these two, and it doesn't really make that big of a difference between when you're using it, but it is noticeable when they're empty. You do have way more connection points on the full cage as opposed to the half cage on the bottom, and the angle for your cold shoe is at 45 degrees on the full cage and flat on the half cage. That's really the only differences between the two. Weight-wise, I'll post the two differences here on the left. Now let's put the full cage onto the camera. And from the front, this is what it looks like. You can see how it all wraps around the entire camera. Now when we move over to the half cage, you can see that whole section missing on the viewer's left-hand side. With the camera pointed to the left, you can see the full cage covers up where the battery door is or just in front of it. And you have a few additional connection points there. But when I move over to the half cage, you'll notice that it almost looks like we don't even have a cage on anymore since there's no obstruction of any kind over here. Looking at the back with the full cage you can get a good view here and then when we look at the half cage again you see the whole section missing this time on the right hand side because we've turned the camera and then on the left hand side or pointing to our left you can see all the connection points you have some guides where you can put in your hdmi clamp which exists for both of these but this in this case is the full cage and you can see the connector for the cold shoe up at the top and then the half cage that cold shoe is flattened down so you can't see it, but we still have all our connection points and the guides for the HDMI clamp. Now let's build out the two cages and see what the difference is. Here is the bare full cage, and then I add on uh, a NATO rail up on the top. Now interestingly enough, I don't need to add a rail on the side of the camera on our right because that is actually designed as a NATO rail on its own. You don't need to add anything on there if you want to slide on a NATO type clamp. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build it all out. So this has a monitor on it. Of course there's no battery in there. This is just for demonstration purposes. But I also have a Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone on there and a handle on the right hand side. Of course I can just use a top handle instead of the monitor and again I can actually add the monitor onto that handle if I want to. It just it doesn't fit in this photo so I just wanted to have a cleaner look for this demonstration. And then if I want to switch the location of the microphone I have a few options where I can put it. Now this is the one thing that you do get when you have the full cage is over on the left hand side of the image you can see I've added another handle or second handle. That's one example of something that you can add on to the full cage that you can't do on the half cage. Whether or not you need anything else over there is up to you. Now let's go back to the bare half cage. First thing we're gonna do is add some NATO rails. I uh, added one on the top, and this time I had to add another one on the right hand side because it's not designed as a NATO rail. You actually have to add one, screw one right into the cage itself. Now I'm building it out exactly as I did before. This time I have the monitor on top. Again, I have my Rode Wireless Go 2 on the side, but not at an angle like the other one, and then the handle on the right hand side. Again, I'm gonna switch out that monitor for the top handle and then show you how I can move the wireless go around in different locations. It's also important to note that I don't have the option of putting a handle on that other left-hand side like I did before, just to point that out again. 
Now this is the angle that you have the camera on the right hand side of the camera when you're using it. So you notice that on this full cage view, part of the cage goes over top a bunch of the dials and also the dedicated record button is underneath it. It's still reachable, but it gets a little annoying to use. One of the ways that you can get around this is to map the shutter button to start the video recording as well. That's something I've done and it's been very useful. But if you don't want anything in your way, you can use the half cage and you have all of your function buttons and dials else everything is completely exposed so they have full access to it. It's actually quite a nice thing to have. Now the difference between these two cages that should be noted is that one, the full cage, allows you to have more things connected to the right hand side of the camera and the half cage gives you better access to all of your dials and buttons on the right hand side of the camera. Both are useful. It's actually why I have both of these. I, I really enjoy using both, but if I had to use only one, I would actually be happy with either one since I can easily access the buttons and I also pretty much never need to add anything else onto the right-hand side of the camera. So there you have it. That's my comparison of the two cages. As you can tell, I like both of them and they both come in handy for different purposes. When I want to stay light and have not too much on my camera, the half cage is great. And when I want to build out everything in a full rig, I really do prefer to have the full cage. And you'll see that in an upcoming video in the next little while. In the meantime, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.